Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to write Roblox scripts with AI. This way, you can start developing games, especially if you don't have any experience, for completely free. And this will also teach you how to write scripts. It will explain what the script is doing. And this is overall just a really good way to learn and create Roblox games on how to grow your games, monetize your games, and overall make money in the end. So anyways, let me get right into this AI. So we're going to ask it to write us a script that will create a color-changing brick, which is really simple, but we'll get more advanced in the scripts that it can do in a second. By the way, if you guys do want this AI, AI, you can find it linked on my website below. That will be linked in the description. So write me a script for a color changing brick. Then I'm going to click send and it's going to go ahead and write us the script. So here is a continuously changing or continuously change the color of the brick. So local brick script. So this should give us a completely random color. It should be in no order. I'm going to just real quick ask for it to become rainbow. So make this in a rainbow loop. So that should change it by itself, but I want a rainbow, a rainbow brick just to show you guys how this script really works. So here we go. We have all of this, all the different colors now, and the actual script. It's explaining exactly how it works. I'm not going to read that for this part of this video, and I'm going to real quick go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. You do need uh, Roblox Studio for these scripts to run if you guys didn't know that. Okay, now that Roblox Studio is loaded up, I'm just going to click on the classic, or not the classic base plate. I'm just going to click on the normal base plate, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, I'm not using a mouse. I'm actually using a touchpad, so I'm going to look stupid for a second here, but we're going to insert a part into the workspace and go ahead and drag it over here and then click on this part over here in the Explorer. If you guys can't find the Explorer, you guys can go over to, I think it's view and then select Explore and properties, all that stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this little plus button, click script. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and put the script for the part to change colors. So if you guys scroll up, there's actually just a copy button. So you can go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to paste it in here. And now we're just going to click play and see if it works. All right, guys. And as you can see, we have a color changing brick. I think it does all the colors of the rainbow. Pretty cool. It doesn't have any like faded in transitions or anything like that. You guys can go and just, you know, really see what this AI can go do. But the next script, I'm actually going to go ahead and ask it for, ask it to make me. I'm going to ask the AI to create me a script with three different currencies and see if it can do that. Okay, so we just asked it to make our script for us and it's kind of buffering right now so we asked it to make us one with three different currencies ruby money and cash and as you guys see it's typed it up right here this leaderboard cannot really do anything like it doesn't have any other scripts with it but it should appear in game so i'm going to copy this go back over to roblox studio and i'm going to do server script service and i'm going to go to scripts and i'm going to go ahead and paste this in here obviously you can go ahead and change these but there should be three in here now i'm going to click play and we're going to see if this works all right, guys, so we have three different currencies in the game right now. And if you actually want to go ahead and change these as a test, now this will not save or nothing like that. Uh, players, leader stats, and then we can go into this and change it to whatever we want. As you can see, our money has changed. And we still do have our color changing brick over here, which is pretty cool. So the next thing I'm actually going to try is turning this into a spinning part just because I think that'd be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm not going to read the script, figure out the script at all. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the part and just see if it will do it raw. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong thing copied, bro. What this? And we're going to click play and see if it works. Now, I do think this AI is a lot better than ChatGPT because it's officially by Roblox, but Brick is moving. I can't really tell. Okay, so it is definitely moving in a circle. Yeah, so it's definitely moving in a circle. So the script did work. It is com moving in a complete circle. Perfect that script a little bit more to make it work. But yes, you guys can write these scripts so easily a lot of basic scripts here but you probably could get it to fix more advanced ones if they were broken or something like that it can't write the most insanely advanced scripts but if you're working on a small game you can probably make something decent so the next thing we're actually gonna do is i'm gonna get it where if you touch this specific block it's gonna teleport you to a different location so i'm gonna type in okay so the first script didn't actually work so i made it rewrite the script for some reason i don't know why it didn't work but i think this is the one that will actually work there's a couple more lines of code in it and i think it was just bugging out honestly on this last one but here we go Let's just click play okay so we're gonna go walk over on it and as you guys can see it just teleported me somewhere pretty random on the map that's because i put that uh line in there but yeah the teleportation feature does work and it works pretty seamlessly now again you guys can write so many more different things with this brick or, and with anything there's so much you can do i mean we have already got you can make a lot of progress with this in a short bit of time so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out the channel a ton we're trying to get to 100k by the end of the year so it mean a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.